I just went to plug in my microphone for recording and all three of the ports at the front have stopped working. I think it's time for a new computer, uh, but right now what's more important is this. It's a Philips FGS 103. It has a slight difference. It runs 35 watt socks, meaning its label should say XGS 103. FGS 103 is the fluorescent version of the lantern, and I haven't actually seen one of these run a fluorescent lamp yet. The XGS 103 used to go under the name MI26, MI standing for minor roads, and 26 was the wattage of socks it used to run. I have a video here on an MI26 if you're interested. This was changed in the late 1990s, when Philips changed the name to XGS slash FGS 103. They can come with two types of gear tray, while I say gear tray, only one is actually a tray for the gear. The other is a reflector, kind of, that covers the gear. This FGS-103 has this, and so the gear is mounted onto the inside of the canopy itself. The other type is a Swiss cheese gear tray, with plenty of holes to mount the gear onto. I also have one of these with the Swiss cheese gear tray, and I may cover it in the next video, because you clearly haven't seen enough MI-26s yet. So now let's take a look at the gear. The igniter is a Philips SX72 igniter, designed for a 26 watt, 35 watt, or 55 watt SOX lamp. The ballast is, from what I can make out through the rust, a Philips BSX 355L, and what either says 82 or 32. And that capacitor, despite it looking like the surface of Venus, it actually does work. But if it causes issues, I will just remove it, because they aren't really needed. I'll keep it for now as it keeps the lantern original. Now we are getting to the end of the warm up and I would just like to say thank you for being patient with the videos the past few months. But now I am completely, fully moved into my own place. The only lantern I don't have with me is the traffic vision. That's in my sister's shed, so I need to bring that down at some point. But yeah, now I'm moved into my own place, I have plenty of time to record. I did try and record an Elico GR535 video this last week, but I had the flu, so when I listened back, I sounded like a clogged vacuum cleaner. So that will have to wait, unfortunately, because I have, I think, about five or six more lanterns to make videos on, and hopefully by the time I've made videos on those, I will have a new lot in, a new bunch of them to make videos for. So stay tuned.